Uh, hi there, I'm Chris and I'm the author of the Dubstep Baseline using Xbox Connect video on YouTube. I just thought I'd post a follow-up demo and just demonstrate um, how my hands are moving um, or what they're actually controlling as I'm controlling it. This time I've actually got um, all the parameters being modulated shown. So we'll start off, you can see my y-axis of my left hand is changing the cutoff and the z-axis is changing the resonance. Um, the x-axis is actually changing the pitch or note information that's being sent to MaxMSP, but that's not visualized because that's um, note information which isn't actually on the dashboard of, um, of Massive. And then in addition to that, um, you can see, oops, um, you can see I've also got a LFO running here. It's just down here. It's a sine wave. The rate or tempo frequency of that is on my y-axis of my right hand. As you can see the rate going up and down. And then just below that, you can see the amplitude going from zero to 100%. And that's basically a LFO that's modulating the filter cutoff, which is just there. So my left hand changing the cutoff, but so does the right hand. Um, and they both work together to create the filter characteristics that the synthesizer will have. Um, and then also on my right hand, um, on the x-axis, I've got a just a simple wet and dry modulation on the reverb channel which is just, uh, just for effect. So if I put all this together, I'll just introduce one thing at a time um, and I'll show you how I'm actually creating the, uh, the different sounds of the, the synthesizer.